today, presented by Pepsi Zero Sugar. All right, folks, now we know we're down here at the SWAC Media Day, and probably the, joining me on the stage right now, the G-Men. The G-Men. From Grambling State University. Can't say SWAC without thinking Grambling. I'll say that. Joining me now is the head coach of the G-Men, Hugh Jackson. On the end is Mr. Sundiata Anderson, the preseason defensive player of the year, and not to be outdone, another defensive player, linebacker, Lewis Matthews. Hugh, you brought two <laughs> defensive guys here first. I, I, I was talking to him before we got on camera. We know you do offense. Yes. But you told me that because you're a head coach, you do what? I, I do all. Go to I, I do all. I have to coach the whole football team. So I've kind of stepped aside, have a new coordinator in Tony Hall, and uh, I'm going to do a better job of coaching our whole football team. Talk to me about those two gentlemen you brought with me. I'm excited about these two young men that are here. First of all, they're leaders of our football team, tremendous student athletes, uh, represent the G the right way, understand what we're trying to accomplish at Grambling, trying to get back to the championship. And these are two guys that's going to help lead us there. Your second year as a head coach for Grambling State, uh, what have you learned about HBCU football and Grambling State. I've learned a lot. <laughs> it was a whirlwind. Let's just be honest. Last year was was difficult. It was different. Uh, again, coming in, you know, in December, uh, trying to get a recruiting class together, trying to find my way with the last football team that was there, putting that all together, coaching staff, all of it. It was tough, you know, but we made it through. And I think I had a better idea of what I needed to do as a head football coach. And sometimes you got to make decisions that's better for the program. So I made a decision to um, hire some coaches on our staff that would give me the opportunity to help change the culture and the environment of our whole football program, and that's what I've done. And don't want to discount the time. You, you know HBC football. Don't want to discount the time you had at Tennessee State. Absolutely. But, but welcome to the SWAC. Thank you. As they would say, you got to welcome it last year <laughs> yes, to I the did. SWAC. Uh, what are some of the things that you thought as a team you all needed to improve upon? I thought we needed to be get, become bigger, stronger, and faster. And so I thought it was really important that we create a profile for what we wanted to be when we went out and recruited G-Men. And that's exactly what we did. You know, and, and you can help me with this debate here. So one of my buddies is, is Ted White. Mm -hmm. Ted White, oh, yeah. quarterback at Howard, broke a lot of records, right? You know, broke, broke most of my records. So you know what I tell him? I said, well, Ted White, you can have all the numbers, right? But the best quarterback in the history of Howard is me. Absolutely. And I, you know what story I used to him? I said, the greatest quarterback in the history of Grand State University is Doug Williams. Absolutely. But Bruce Eugene can make the case that he yes. was the best quarterback too, so. <laughs> And he does. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure he does. Let's talk to these young men you got with you here. Uh, first, let's start off with the preseason defensive player of the year, Mr. Anderson. You just found out about that honor today. What do you think about being named defensive player of the year going into you know, the season? I just want to thank God and say I'm blessed to be here today. And, you know, blessed to be given, be given the opportunity by this man you know, he grew me as a player last season, and so it allowed me to play. He grew me as a player last season, so it allowed me to play and be better and, you know, earn this honor. And so in the future, I'm using this role as to take leadership and show it can be done. What's, what's your major there? I was really impressed. That your major is Lewis's major, so your major is? Biology. Biology. And kinesiology. And kinesiology. You talk about some student athletes doing it the right way. Congratulations for the job that you all are doing there. Uh, Lewis, talk to me about the defensive side of the ball. What's it going to take for that G-man? Because one thing I would say about Graham, but over the years, offense is going to be there, right? But when the defense is there, Graham becomes a special place. Them championship years, they got a lot of points, but the defense was tough. What are y'all doing to improve defensively? Uh, to improve defensively, you know, I got my guy Sonny here, and you know, both of us being on the same side of the ball is kind of, you know, it's dangerous. You know, I know other teams get up, get up to us and be like, oh, man, these guys here. Yeah. So, you know, we've been working on, like, our effort, our discipline, making sure everybody do the right thing, every guy in his right place. But as a linebacker, you know, it's hard as a linebacker because you really got to know what you're doing, you got to know what others are doing, and you got to make sure you're doing your, doing your tasks. And so, Deion, I noticed you, you got a little bit bigger. So, so during the offseason, uh, how much weight have you added? Um, I added 25 pounds. I went from 230 to 250. 230 to 250. Yes, sir. Okay, so so you, you trying to make it to the next level to play in the league, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Does he have what it takes, coach? He does, and and I think he understands. He has what it takes, but he's got to show it. He needs to dominate this season. 
Absolutely. It's that simple. Uh, that's good advice he's giving you. You've got to dominate there. And when, when y'all look at the schedule there, obviously we know that game down in New Orleans means a whole lot to y'all. Yes. But what's it like to play? I asked the other guys, what's it like to play in the Florida Classic? What's it like to play in that bayou? Uh, in the Classic, like, they you walk in the Classic. See, they got the bayou in the Classic. In the bayou Classic, you know, you walk out, you know, crowd. The adversity is a lot of people, everybody screaming. Ground fam out there, you know, they cheering you on, going with it. And it's just a great feeling to be out there. When you talk about that grand fam, I think unlike any other school that you come around there, that saying that grand fam means a lot down there. Uh, what's it? Describe what it is to be a G-man. It's an amazing feeling to be a G-man. You got big shoes to fill. You know, for me, it's I'm following after Buck Buchanan's footsteps, and so I'm trying to achieve everything that he's achieved and more. And so it's just a great feeling to be in such history. And then Coach Eddie Robb, you know, what he's did for the program and what he's passed down, you know, we hear legends talk about his stories all the time. And so it just strives you to do better and be greater every day. You know, we got a saying in the hole, uh, Coach Eddie Robb won't let it rain when it comes to practice. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what was that, Coach, won't let it rain when it comes yeah. to practice? No, it, it'll be raining before we go out to practice. And soon we get ready to go out of stock. So we, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to get the practice. I can't argue that. You mentioned Eddie Rob. That, that is for sure. Coach, uh, before we let you go, uh, you got to start off the season taking on uh, Hampton. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what's going to happen offensively? Who are some of the guys that have to step up for you this year offensively? You got a little diamond in the rough, or what can we expect offensively? Oh, well, obviously there's a quarterback battle that everybody's talking about, Julian Calvez and Miles Crawley. Uh, Calvez is the returning starter, mm -hmm. and Crawley's coming in to compete. So that's where it starts for us. Uh, when you look at Lyndon Rash and what he's done for our program, he's been Mr. Professional for us, and we're looking forward to him having a, a great season. Uh, across the board, I think we've improved, offensive line-wise and out in our skill positions. Floyd Chalk, who was the MVP of the uh, Bayou Classic last year on offense for us, he's returning. So we feel like uh, we got a chance on offense to be really dynamic this year. So we're looking forward to going out and showcasing our talent and ability. Well, we know the expectations are always high at Grambling State University. We'll see if you can get it done this season. Good luck to you, fellas. Continue yes, to do what you're doing. Coach, best of luck to you. Thank you. And when we come back on the other side, we'll hear from the reigning two-time SWAC East champion, mm. Tigers of Jackson State University. 